my god, there's waffles! Do I have any of my teeth? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have probably the most famous person I know personally joining me here on my couch, Lils, from the Lils, Lils channel. Uh, you, you do know Ariana Grande, technically. Yes, I know her. I'm probably I don't know if she knows like, me. Actually, the spectrum of people you've met in your life, I'm probably like low on the famous. But scale. you're the only one I've had here on my couch. I'll take it. Today, Lily and I are going to be mukbanging it up. She hasn't told me what she got. No, I've not, but I do think it is something that you're going to like. You and I, I definitely think you're going to like it. Fun fact, I want to see if you can guess. It's somewhere we've been in the past on a PR trip, but we didn't have enough time to thoroughly enjoy it. All right, let me grab the bag. Do I look as pale as I feel? I present to you Al's Hot Chicken. I don't think I've ever... We went to this in downtown LA, I thought, right? I don't think that's what it was called. Okay, well, this is another <laughs> hot chicken place that looks Ooh. really, really good. Did you get me a not hot one? Yes. Good. So, <laughs> I got some hot sauces here. And hot chicken, by the way, they've been opening them a lot in LA. So Lisa and I were actually just talking about this. Why is it now a thing? Because spicy food people love. And also, this has like been a long time trend in Nashville. Ooh, fried pickles. Fried pickles. Do you have ketchup? What? I got some collard greens. Mm. I got some macaroni and cheese for you. Ooh, this is great. This is a nice surprise. I even got you banana cream pudding for dessert. Holy f I'll just eat that. With Nella wafers. Who's Courtney? Country. <laughs> this is the country style, which means no spiciness. Lil, I got you. Oh my God, trip. there's waffles. And waffles. Are you so glad you came over? Yeah, this is the best surprise ever. I was really worried, you guys. I thought you were gonna get us like cauliflower pizza. I got mild spicy boneless wings. They thought a lot more people were gonna be eating this food, but there's just two of us. Well, I'm just gonna take a bite of these collard greens. This is gonna be messy. I'm gonna try and sandwich it, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really excited for you right now. Did I do good? Yeah, you did. I was genuinely a little concerned. I was like, oh, I'll have to go to McDonald's afterward. Take a bite. I wanna watch you. It's my jaw. Get your jaw loosened. Yes! Is that delicious? Oh my God. Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, the oh my drizzling. God. This is great. There's like caramelized sugar on the waffles. Oh my God. I got the actual hot chicken because I felt like it was important to try hot chicken. So what's chewy? Okay, so we got to discuss the chewy thing. Well, actually first, she said it earlier. Guys, I've been mm. seeing it online everywhere. Been so confused on how to pronounce it. So apparently this word was invented several years ago by a girl and now it has since resurfaced due to this growing but also fake <laughs> trend of like Gen Z versus millennials on TikTok. The only thing I've seen, you have like chevron print things it very much seemed like a kind of like a target aesthetic like a dorm room it's like when you are a basic bitch who likes to brunch and you have grown up you have become chuggy so like here's a few chuggy things by the way if you're chuggy i think being chuggy is great so you love chevron prints on everything you love those signs in your house that say like live laugh oh. love you like to wear graphic t-shirts that say but first coffee you love an infinity scarf you like a slouchy boot over your skinny jeans only. Obviously, you're rocking a side part. I don't think I have any chicken be friends. And you also like to drink out of like a glitter tumbler with maybe also some text. But here's the thing that I love from this guy I follow on TikTok. It's not just women. You can't just try to label a woman as chuggy. Men apparently can be chuggy too. They like cargo shorts. They like monster energy drink. They like Axe body spray. This is delicious, by the way. What about you? What have you been doing? Well, I always forget you're married sometimes. I know, isn't it weird? Because I forget that I'm married sometimes too, but then I also feel like I've been married for 25 years. And yeah. I think that's because five months into our marriage, COVID started. And so we've basically been in this tiny house together. You've probably spent more time together than like most married couples would. Ever do. No, 100%. Ever in the, <laughs> their entire marriage. And also we live in like a very small space. So I feel like if you really want to get to know each other, this is probably the best case scenario to see if you like each other or not. Seems to be working out really well. And also we're like working together now too, kind of. Is it delicious? 
This is like real mac and cheese. No, so we're both we're both vaccinated. So like, what are you gonna do? This How was summer? your vaccination? Oh yeah, we should share our vaccination stories. My experience was literally nothing happened. I drank eight Gatorades, then I felt fine. I exercised like two days later. You had kind of a hard time, right? Um, so I got the the one and done. You got Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, and. <laughs> so much green in your teeth. <laughs> do you have any um, my teeth? It's so good. How does it hold up next to Magnolia? I mean, it's not Magnolia's, but what is? I don't know if you guys have ever had Magnolia Bakery. Up, Magnolia and back on some cupcakes. But they're famous for their banana pudding. I feel like it's in New York. I don't know if the LA one does mm -hmm. as much. They have like random limited edition ones. So they'll have like a birthday cake. Banana pudding? Yeah. Or like, really? like a strawberry one. Lily, I have to try these waffles because oh, okay. sorry that I was like, You've definitely done some damage, but I don't care. I would eat your old food. You probably already took a bite of this, but who cares? Some of it just fell apart. Come on. This is real chicken meat. It's not like those nubs you like. I'd hope so if it's a chicken place. Look at how big this piece of chicken is. Look at all those chickens. This just cost 40 bucks. I feel like that's a pretty good price, don't you? With dessert, with beverages. Yeah. With everything, we got Lily a little Sprite. Back to my COVID. Yes, um, tell me more. Vaccine, it was like I went from being totally fine to like seven hours went by, oh and I was God. like, oh no. And it was just like cold sweats. So like, how like, long did it last for you? Like 12 hours. Were you like out of commission or could you function? No, I can barely take my dog out. Really? Like it was literally like I thought I was gonna die. It felt like I was super hungover, dehydrated. Were you drinking water? I was drinking a lot of Gatorade. Were you drinking a lot of hot chocolate? <laughs> no. I forgot I put cayenne pepper in here. Why? Because I like the way it tastes. I put lemon, stevia, and cayenne pepper. It's like spicy lemonade. It's bomb. Why is there not more pudding? Places. This is delicious, you guys. It's so good. We Who doesn't like pudding? We haven't talked about this in probably years. I can't believe that I almost forgot about it. You and your um, obsession with pudding and Misty the Cat. Do you dare to relish the people on this channel with what that's all about? No, f you. <laughs> Did you have like an alter ego that was a cat named Misty who just liked to lick pudding as a child? Like that was like a fun no, game you played? No. What happened was, what had happened was, when we were doing the pudding cheat day, I asked specifically if, <laughs> can we get some little like crystal glasses? And then I go, you know, like how they have them in the fancy piece commercials for cat food? And she's like, yes, actually, that totally, <laughs> like, the, the visual really. You know home. what, it is funny though, if you think about cat commercials versus dog commercials, when have you ever seen a dog eating out of a crystal bowl? It's because they break it. Like the dog never. Is them like sliding past. Like, never, never in a million years. But then we, I think I was like just like putting drunk. Lily was just like not speaking in the video at all. She was just sitting there scooping, putting into her mouth and just sitting there like. I got so <laughs> sick afterwards. <laughs> Roll the clip. But it's like different pudding. Cause it's like, I'm better. not really sure how I got to this point. <laughs> Is that your favorite kind of pudding? Banana? Tough question. <laughs> I'd say chocolate probably. Yeah, wait, okay, hold on. We haven't discussed this. That I don't like chocolate, but I like chocolate flavored things. Oh no, I hate that. I think it's so stupid. <laughs> You're in your 30s now with me. No, I don't want to I'm still, on, I'm almost in my 40s though. <laughs> so like this is the only time we can enjoy it. Do you feel like loud and proud and happy? No, it's more <laughs> like I scroll through my Instagram and see like every single person I know having a baby and I'm like, hmm. But you're having a good time. You have pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Who's winning, you guys? Baby. I'm not trying to have a baby any time soon. Well, you know what? You better be careful because that lady stole all your birth control pills right out of your car. Is that my mailbox? Lily has a serious issue with where she's living. There's a lot of thefts going on. Someone had been breaking into our mailboxes and I um, walk by the trash can in the lobby and out of the corner of my eye, I like see my name and I'm like, what the f She had opened the box, seen it was birth control and then just threw it away. What is wrong with I say people? it's a she because she was caught on camera, stupid bitch. Have you ever stolen anything? Well, you have to have stolen something. Like, I'll tell you what I've stolen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this doesn't even exist anymore after COVID. <laughs> I was gonna say, this doesn't leave this couch. I'm like, this Mail. doesn't leave this couch, okay? These are so good. The pickles are so long. With the ketchup. What? Remember at the grocery store, and these are gone, how there was all those containers where it'd be like dried fruit and like some candy. Yeah, and yeah, the, the, like at a sweet factory that yeah. you like you put in the bag. I was there once and I like took a scoop and put a few in my hand and just ate them. Steve. Know what this reminds me of? 
It tastes like the, if you get mac and cheese at Chili's. We need to go to Chili's. We do. I have not been there in so long. I also am missing some Olive Garden. I would love to go to Olive Garden as well. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the chain restaurants. I'm gonna go with the chicken and waffles was my favorite. Okay. Do you know what's really funny? What? So I'm looking at the table right now and there are food boxes everywhere. There are only two containers that are empty. One of them is the banana pudding and one is the collard green. Very representative of our friendship. Well, Lil, thanks for coming. <laughs> Words. Well, Lil, thanks for coming over and devouring all of this food. I definitely have to take a walk now. But what's your plan for the rest of the day? I will be taking a walk as well because I parked a mile away. <laughs> and then I think I'm going back to work on my secret project. The world is not ready for this secret project. Oh God, I ready. don't even think I'm ready for this secret project. Are you working on any other secret projects that you want to tell us about? The not so secret Epstein project that I've been working on for over a year now. When is that going to come out? I feel like I need help. <laughs> but like at this point no one else knows as much as you so it like wouldn't help because yeah. I'd have to just be explaining it which honestly might help because I feel like me explaining it might it helps get the creative juices it's flowing. just so much to organize because it's like literally probably a hundred different names in it that all overlap in different parts of history and I'm giving background on a lot of things because as I was researching this has been the biggest problem to be yeah. honest. History was never my uh, strong suit. Uh, no, not even a little bit and um, when did we even take U.S. History? history. 11th grade. I liked history a lot. U.S. history I think is interesting now because they also didn't teach us anything that actually happened. Well, by that. The way. And Which has been fascinating. It's also scandalous. Recently. Like, I feel like they don't talk about the things that actually happened and they're like, oh, racism is over. And did you know that some states are actively voting against like teaching the true history of, of what is yes. happening in America. I don't really understand like how that's up for debate. No, I learned more watching documentaries after all the Black Lives Matter protests started than I ever learned. But looking back in 11th grade, that was when I had the guy's basketball coach as a teacher and then also TA for him the next period. Oh, so you were just like doing nothing. I would just leave for both yes. periods and go yeah. get us food. Where I was going is that I didn't pay attention at all. So now when I'm researching things and like former presidents are coming up or like it's all Watergate or yeah. like the Iran Contra skin, I'm like, what the f is that? So I'm literally <laughs> having to re-educate myself and then I'm just like also going out on a limb and assuming that some of the people watching also were I as think a lot of people probably don't as me. Know. So I'm trying to like give like quick backstories, but then it's like all of a sudden I'm talking about the 1920s and then I'm like <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden you're literally talking about world history. <laughs> and then all the conspiracy theories all intersect. So it's like, oh well now I have I don't want to start going down that That's why I think this Epstein thing if it's it, gonna it's be five episodes anything, and they're all gonna be an hour. It's gonna be long. <laughs> it where's it gonna live? On the little channel. It's gonna live on the little channel. But I think channel. I might because they're all gonna get demonetized. You should put them on Patreon. I think I'm gonna put the first one up and then I'll Put them on Patreon. Patreon. Thanks. Thanks. I didn't know how to finish that sentence for some reason. I don't know. It's Patreon. No. It's a lot of food. What should we eat next? Like, is there anything you I don't know. Want? You can surprise me again. This was great. I did a good job, yeah. right? It's so exciting. Wait, also, tell them what you have coming up. What did you send me a picture of? Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> we live in a tiny place, and the concept here is like, I can never put everything away, because we just have too much stuff. Every day, it's very, it's a great perk of the job, I receive packages from people, like PR packages. And I'm like, oh no, this is so nice, but like, also, where do I put it now? Yesterday, I thought Crocs, the shoe brand that I'm obsessed with, I thought they were gonna send me one pair of Crocs, like the bedazzled ones that I could decorate with like the jewels and all that stuff. You guys, <laughs> I received 23 pairs of Crocs. To be day. honest though, when she sent me the picture, I thought you were like doing like a wearing Crocs every day for a month of videos. <laughs> wearing Crocs every day for a year. Lil, thanks for coming over. Thanks for hanging out. I'm so glad you like the food. I'm gonna send you home with some leftovers. Good luck on the secret project. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Plural. And you guys, if you're not already following Lil's, which I highly doubt that you're not already doing because she's like 50 times more known on the interwebs than I am. Fine, for I feel sure. like we're just the same person. That's really sweet because I take that as a compliment. We're super chooks. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe and let us know what we should eat next time. Yeah. And this is over. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh. That was so good. It was Courtney. Country. <laughs> this is the country style, which means no spiciness. Do I look as pale as I feel? <laughs> Do I have any um, my teeth? Yeah, wait, okay, hold on. We haven't discussed this. That I don't like chocolate, but I like chocolate flavored things. Oh no, I hate that. I think it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs>